transperineal biopsy doesn't have to be a long, arduous procedure. With the right team, a bit of experience and a systematic approach, a whole template biopsy can be done in around 15 minutes. With the patient uh, positioned uh, in exaggerated dorsal orthotomy, uh, the perineum is prepped and draped in a sterile fashion and the scrotum is taped up out of the way with elastoplast. No catheter is required. As you can see, uh, the scalp nurse has already applied a brachytherapy balloon to the ultrasound probe. Um, I've placed a clear plastic sheet over to protect the equipment and I have fitted the template grid. With the prostate uh, centered on screen, the next step is to measure the volume. Uh, and this is done simply by moving the cursors around with the rollerball uh, in the three different dimensions uh, and on the Flex Focus 700 machine uh, using the P1 button uh, to enter each of the dimensions. Uh, in the end, uh, a volume uh, measurement will be uh, recorded automatically. In the transverse plane, the template grid holes are overlaid on the screen using the aiming beam button. Probably the biggest key to streamlining transperineal biopsy is to mark out all your coordinates before you actually start taking cores of tissue. This is done in the transverse plane and coordinates are grouped into anterior, mid-level and posterior uh, sectors and of course left and right sides of the prostate. Your scout nurse then writes down all these coordinates so that she can call them out to you as you're proceeding with the biopsy. Needle position is first checked in the transverse plane uh, and then once located uh, and deemed to be in a good position, uh, the plane is then switched to sagittal uh, so that you get a good appreciation of the uh, depth of the core. Uh, and I always like to start the cores at the uh, apical end and then if necessary, uh, take a second core from the base. Transperineal biopsy uh, has the great advantage of having a near zero risk of sepsis but you're also able to obtain excellent sampling of the anterior aspect of the gland as shown here. Uh, here is a hypoechoic lesion uh, which is suspicious anteriorly. Uh, all tissue specimens are placed in pots by sector and numbered and labelled accordingly. Our collaborative group uh, performs sector biopsies as per the Ginsberg protocol. This allows collection of homogeneous data which is used to then populate our prospectively kept database.